in a ceremony, excellent school day in Burkina Faso. President Ibrahim Traore, while addressing teachers, said some things. He recognized them, appreciated them, also appreciated the defense force, talked about what the security men said, that even in the remote areas, rural areas, where the, the insecurity is very high, the people they meet on their way is usually teachers or health workers. So he took out time to appreciate teachers, that they are doing a great job. And then he also, in fact, let's listen to this. Je peux vous dire que lorsque nous ferons baisser la fièvre donc de cette guerre et que nous maîtriserons nos dépenses militaires, nous devrons investir beaucoup dans certains domaines. Nous avons stratifié les domaines, les fonctions. Et dans la première couche se retrouvent bien sûr nos forces de défense, nos forces de sécurité intérieure, le monde enseignant en gros, le monde de la santé et le monde de l'agriculture. Et à travers ces initiatives pour l'éducation, nous voulons construire nos écoles, nos grandes écoles ici, former nos élites pour qu'ils puissent servir les Burkinabés. Voilà pourquoi je dirais donc à vous de mettre le paquet pour que nous puissions mettre en place ces écoles d'élite-là, pour que ces cerveaux ne se retrouvent pas dehors. Parce que pendant longtemps, les impérialistes ont toujours puisé les cerveaux ici à travers des bourses. Et lorsqu'une fois chez eux, ils ne reviennent plus au pays. Je ne veux pas que ces cerveaux qui sont ici se retrouvent dehors et ne pas servir notre pays. Faites en sorte que ces initiatives marchent et que nous puissions mettre en place les universités polytechniques et technologiques dont nous avons besoin pour que ces enfants puissent exprimer tous leurs talents et travailler au profit de notre patrie. He said, we will control our military spending to invest in some areas which is education, health, and agriculture. And already he's already he's doing it. But then he buttressed on improving more on education so that the good brains, the brains they have, will not be going outside. Then there's another striking statement he made that struck me. He said, the imperialists have always taken out the good brains through scholarship. When they go out and study, they remain there. That this time around, he's going to change the narrative by investing in education sector, make education sector good, so that the good brains will remain in Burkina instead of leaving. They will, they will study there and serve their homeland. This is a very, very serious problem we have in Africa. Do you know that, in fact, I can count one day I bumped into, I bumped into uh, um, Kenya. I saw a news. Oh, I don't know. I don't know who did this to. I don't know how we got here. Do you know that it was all about Kenyans moving to Germany? Kenyans moving, learning German language. And then after learning German language, they moved to Germany. Why? They moved to Germany to go and study and look for work. Meanwhile, you have all the resources, you have all it takes to, to invest in your education sector, make your country good for them to be there. So this is, it's just, it, it's not a norm. Politicians in Africa is not a norm. The, 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 the only thing they can offer is scholarship abroad. They don't have time to build the schools. And now here is a leader. This guy is not just, he's not the president. He's a leader. He is a leader that knows the deep needs of the people. That knows the, the, how to solve the deep needs of the people under his watch. The norm in Africa is African leaders. It's just like a competition. They send you abroad for scholarship, you go and study. 
That is just it. They are not ready to do anything impactful in the country. Education systems are failing. Should we should we now go to should we talk about medical? Should we talk about agri? In fact, nothing, nothing is working. And here is a leader trying to fix this to ensure that those brains remain in the country. Do you know there are some countries where all the doctors and nurses are out? They are out. After studying, they travel, they go out. I don't know how we got here. President Ibrahim Traore, this is very commendable. I must say, you are a good leader. You are a good leader. Keep it up. Because you are there, you want to be there. He is always looking for vacuum to fill. Just look at his ceremony. He found out a need that this is very important to do. To ensure that these children remain here. Even though some don't even care. Like in some countries, there is mass exodus. The youths are leaving Jabba syndrome. The, the presidents don't care. They are living in mass, living to countries they don't even know what is going on. They just want to see that they've left the, 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 the African continent to go and study. Study what? The resources that should be used to fix the education system is looted. It's a problem. If you, if you go to embassies and see good brains, Africans lined up in queue, Study, 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 study visa, study visa. What are they coming to study? These things are things that could be fixed in the country. There will not be any need for anybody to go through this uh, 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 Jabba syndrome. They are losing their good brains. They don't even care. Even some countries had mass exodus in their, in their medical sector. Doctors and nurses, they don't even care. Yes, they don't. Let me end this here. I don't know how we got here. I keep saying this. I don't know how we got here. See the wonderful initiative this young man has for Burkina people. Good one. Keep it up. Thank you very much again for your time with me. I don't take it for granted. I hope to see you in my next as I come your way again with more trending news.